said the objective that they said? I think the uh, social science evidence is pretty clear uh, that if you take two equally criminal people and you uh, hold one accountable through a community-based sentence uh, and provide support to the person, you put the other one in jail, the one who goes to jail is much more likely to commit subsequent crimes. So this whole effort of putting more people in jail when our crime rate is going down is actually probably going to uh, lead to more criminality. And the efforts to reintegrate successfully will be uh, diminished by this policy. So you're here protesting today, but what do you think the chances are that, that this is going to slow the process? Well, down? as I said to people here, if you're fighting for justice, you never lose. You occasionally lose a battle, but it's always good to stand up for what is uh, what is just. And hopefully we will win at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, we will certainly work to help try and implement Bill C-10 in a way to make it fairer and more humane for some of the people who would otherwise be hurt by it. And it's really the provinces that are going to have a heavy burden to try and deliver C-10. It's going to be huge cost. And they're going to have jails that are bursting at the seams. Uh, they've already signaled that their um, judicial infrastructure isn't able to handle this influx. So it's going to be a real problem. And to the extent that John Howard Societies and others uh, can help, uh, we're happy to do so. If you look at the numbers that the government has, has given for the cost of $78.6 million, they say that includes the cost of putting any new prisoners in a federal prison. Um, which doesn't work out to that many more people, if that's their calculation. So, do you think they are miscalculating what the, the result is going to be, or are they, is this more just a lot of talk? They're miscalculating and they haven't factored in the cost to the provinces. And the provinces will have to shoulder uh, the majority of the cost here. Most of those mandatory minimum uh, penalties are below two years, so there will be a straight provincial hit. Uh, and it will jam up their court structures, jam up their pretrial detention facilities, uh, to no great avail, because the mandatory minimums always hurt those who would have received a lesser penalty in any event. So you're not going to target the big fish and the big drug dealers. You're going to uh, target the young, the little, less criminal people with the mandatory minimum. So it's going to be huge for the provinces. Some estimates suggest that it would be uh, you know, a quarter of the total cost would be borne by the federal government and three quarters by the provinces. But we're all anxious to see the costing exercise that uh, the Parliamentary Budget Officer is doing. And I think that will shine some light on the true costs of this bill. Great. Do you mind spelling your name for me? Sure. Latimer, L-A-T-I-M-E-R, Catherine with a C.